And now, the moment I've been waiting all day for, our fantastic guest today. She is no stranger to the loft. Over the past five years, she has gone on to become one of South Africa's most influential digital personalities with over 291,000 followers. We just love her quirky personality and, of course, her amazing content creation. Her impeccable style and authenticity is one of our favorite, favorite things about her. It is none other than, should we do a... Nadia Jasta! <laughs> hey, it's nice to meet ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I like your features. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me where'd you come from? Yeah, 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 yeah. You look like a wild one, no. Chase. I know you wanna chase a little more. We can go get away. We can go get away to bed. I mean, really, Nadia Jaft, is there anything you can't do? There's a lot of things I can't do, Jeannie. <laughs> like what? I heard cooking was one of them. Cooking is one of them. <laughs> I can't cook, so this is going to be interesting today. But then what do you eat? Because you're always in such I great shape. I go to shape. my mom's house. She lives down the road. Oh, OK. I, I plan that strategically where I buy yeah. a place or I rent a place five minutes away from my mom. Okay, perfect. So that's the plan. You're very close to your family, and yeah. I think that's how, how your career kind of started, is that yeah. you started posting the things. Your mum and you, your relationship with your mum is just hilarious. Yeah. That is very funny. How did it start for you? Like, were you, did you just find no. your mum funny, she found you funny, and then you just started no, we, filming it? We always had that relationship, but I found when I started actually filming it and putting it out there, it was so weird for people to see because they were like, my mom's like that, but they just weren't posting it. Yeah. So a lot of people could relate to it, which I thought was special. How have you not gotten into so much more trouble? I, I mean, have. I remember watching you do some things to your mother and I thought, oh my goodness, this girl no, is I've, pushing it. I've gotten into so much trouble. Like, you must see the things my mother's done to me, like, as revenge. She just doesn't know how to film it. She doesn't know how to use her phone. That's the only difference. Yeah. Well, let's have a little look at an example of some of the things that Nadia likes to do to her <laughs> mom. Oh, wow. Apple, ginger, and carrots. How does it taste? Oh, it's divine. And... It, um, it also, it's a great energy boost. Did you want to taste? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> no, I didn't with you. Uh-uh. <laughs> You are terrible. <laughs> and the thing that she was blow drying her hair and you put flour no, all over her. It was so, it's, I can't. Like, and the, the things, I have to bleep out so much, I have to cut out so much yeah. because of the swearing and because of the, she's just angry. So most of the stuff that I do include in a one minute video, yeah. that's like. You're a content creator stuff. and you actually studied film. So what is the production behind what we see of Nadia Jafta online? Because, like, do you do you write a script for it? And do you, <laughs> like, direct it and edit it? Like, what goes so into it? So I don't write scripts. I yeah. it's, most of the stuff is off the cuff. If I'm with my friends, I'll get some ideas from them. They'll help me with content ideas. Yeah. If someone does something in front of me, oh, my word, that would be such a cool video idea. Yeah. So it literally it happens very organically, my, my content, because I find that when I plan it, then it becomes more, you know... Exactly. And yeah. then do you sit and edit your own videos? I do. And then do you study that whole, I don't know, what is it called? An Instagram algorithm algorithm when to post and... I recently discovered algorithms and yeah. there's so much How I've does learned. it work? So if you post a picture or you post any sort of post video yeah. and you edit it before four hours, your post goes like near the bottom of the feed. What does so that it mean? messes Explain up the algorithm. That? So if you edit a video or picture four hours within you've posted, when you've posted it, yeah. then the algorithm moves it down. So you've got to, it's, how do they know how, when you edited it from when you posted it? It says edited on the picture when you edit it. <gasps> oh, That's really? why I just delete it and I post it again, like an hour later or a few minutes later. Ah. So that's the trick. Okay, yeah. I still, I'm still not clear on how, but you can teach me I'll later teach you, how I'll that works. <laughs> that's amazing. But now your passion is actually your music. I have a lot of passions. Music is one of them. It's yeah. one of my outlets. My ultimate, ultimate, ultimate dream is, has always been acting. So I actually studied film for that reason and I got a scholarship to study acting. But I've just never found the gap to go and study. And what would your dream role be? <sighs> Probably a romantic comedy to start. Yeah. And then I think I'd get into the more serious stuff. Yeah, I could yeah. totally see you doing something like that. That's my goal. But I want to know more about your music. Do you write <clears> your <throat> own music and are you involved in the production of it? How so, did you get into it? So I, when I started, I didn't write my own music, but I wrote my own, well, I 
Zabo is a um, writer in PE. He helped me write my own song. Yeah. And I have another producer in PE as well that produces the music. And then Amin produced the first song and Caleb wrote the first song. And where would so, you like to see that going? I really, you see, I want my music to like move people. Yeah. So I think the song that I did now is a very emotional one. It's very different to everything I've done. Yeah. So my goal with that one is for people to see the more vulnerable side of me. Yeah, you recently have. I think, you know, people are used to you being <clears throat> extremely funny and high energy online. And nowadays I have seen that you've definitely been opening up a lot more yeah. about anxiety yeah. and feeling a little bit low. Yeah. Why do you think it was important for you to do that? I think it's taken me a very long time to actually open up about it. And I yeah. think I was very scared, to be honest, because just because I talk about having anxiety or depression, it doesn't mean that I've conquered it. It means yeah. that I'm still learning how to cope with it. So I think people get the misconception that because I'm talking about yeah. it, I must have found a cure. But that's mm. not the case. I'm literally just speaking about it to open up a conversation to let people know that I'm still going through the same things that they're going through. Yeah. It's a terrifying platform, I think, to allow yourself to be exposed and vulnerable because yeah. then you're opening yourself up for a whole bunch of criticism. How do you handle criticism? Because I know last year there was a little <laughs> bit of scandal about you because like your, your tickets for your party were so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> what the so I actually turned that into a very funny situation. First yeah. of all, my mom fired back and she said, no, yeah. the tickets are actually for 15K to my party and I'm making acne and biryani <laughs> and all these things. So she fired back. And then I eventually, you know, I, I fought back in a very playful way. I went on to have a birthday tour because I'm like, no, you guys aren't going to drag me for this. I'm definitely going to have a birthday tour now. <laughs> and I had a whole birthday tour so that I, I turned it into something positive. Exactly. Yeah. Good plan. Now, you've just gotten back from Los Angeles, yes. California. Yes. Eh? How was that trip? It was amazing. I've met so many interesting people. Um, I've made a lot of connections, so when I go back, maybe I won't have to pay for accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I saw one friend of yours that you made there, and I think if you do go back and stay with him, I'm coming with you. Miss mm. Ariana Grande's brother. Maybe I'll convince him to bring Ariana Grande to come. Yes, we want to be besties with her. We're obsessed. Like, Let's have a look at this quick clip. <laughs> I also know all the words to the South African national anthem. Oh, no, no. Please sing it, please sing it. Osa Sikaleli, Africa, Malupata Visu, Polawayo, Osa Naki, Yoko Yetu, Kosi, Sikalela, Tina, Lutwapalwayo, Murena Boluka, Sekava Sahesu, Ufe Dice Ditwale Matwenye, Hose Boluke, Use Boluke, Se Chabasa, South Africa, Sa Chabasa. That is insane. How does he know? How does he know the national? So I actually had a conversation with him on the orange carpet, yeah. and he told me about a few charities that he runs in Cape Town. So he's been to Cape Town at least eighteen times. Oh wow! And I never knew that because no, he's so never he comes here to do a whole bunch of charity work. He does a lot of charity work. Cape Town is one of his favorite. Beautiful. Cities. Well, he, his sister definitely got the singing voice. Yeah, that, that's actually how we connected because I said, "Hey, Frankie," and he's like. You sound like you're from South Africa. So I'm like, I am. And he's like, you know, I know the whole anthem. And that's how we started speaking. That he is, did no interviews. No, that is absolutely amazing. Yeah. That is very cool. So you went there for the awards. Hopefully you're going to, for the Kids' Choice Awards. Yeah. Hopefully you're going to go there soon for, to get a Grammy. <sighs> Hopefully I'll get a nomination soon. Exactly. That's the plan. <laughs> exactly. Now I want to know about what do you want people to, to mm. see when they visit any of your platforms? I want them to see that I'm multifaceted. Yeah. I don't want to be boxed as the comedian or the singer or the, the influencer or the YouTuber. I just want to be seen as a content creator, as a yeah. person that just, is, just creates content um, in many different ways. Exactly. And then how hard is it to monetize it? Because I think it's so important for people to, I think because schools aren't even teaching it nowadays, to have an art and have something that you're good at and an incredible yeah. talent, but then actually to turn it into a business. Exactly. I think it's because it's not yet, influencing isn't, it hasn't reached its peak in South Africa. Yeah. We don't really know the ropes and the way to go about things. Exactly. So I think as I'm learning, I'm trying to teach other people the ways to go about things as well. Exactly. So it's World Book Day. Yeah. And so we heard that you're a very big reader. So what was the last book that you read? I don't say I'm a very big reader, but I do, that. I do <laughs> like to read. Um, the last book I read was The Art of the Good Life. Yeah. Um, it's like a philosophical kind of book. I like, I like books that um, kind of teach me, teach me different mantras and life yeah. lessons and how to deal with things, cope, different coping mechanism, mechanisms. Because, um, you know, we, 
we get used to thinking a certain way and living a certain yeah. way. So that book kind of teaches you how to unlearn yeah. bad habits. What are your coping, coping mechanisms? Because you said earlier that, you know, just because you've been vocal about having anxiety and depression, mm. you haven't figured out a cure. But how do you cope with it? Because I think it's take, taking one day at a time. Yeah. How do you deal with it? So, you know, funny enough, when I go through phases where I'm posting probably like four or five videos a day, that's when I'm actually going through the most. Oh, really? Because that's me coping and trying to, you know, the more people I make happy, the more people I make laugh, that makes me feel better. It feeds my soul. Yeah. So when I am down to posting two posts a day, I'm doing okay. But when I'm up to five, six, seven posts, then I'm going through the most. So that I find that's one of my coping mechanisms. Well, we absolutely love your posts. So keep on doing them. And do your lots even when you're having a good day because we love them so yes, much. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, we're very excited to have you here today. And we heard that you are rubbish in the kitchen, but that's good because so much. Could you speak to my mother? Is <laughs> she somewhere? <laughs> so she might be a digital ma maverick, but can she cook a good meal? We shall find out after the break as we prepare a flavorful roast chicken with seven colors. You can call us on OT1. 1430-9881 if you get stuck along the way or if you've got any questions for Nadia otherwise we'll be right back after this